Hello everyone, welcome to my video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can build a really simple voice assistant in Python. Also let me know if you like this to be a series and every episode make an upgrade to the bot, any automation upgrade or any kind of upgrade you would like to see. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all to get started we want to download Python. So go ahead to your browser and just search Python download. So easy and click download python and then just go ahead and click download python and download the latest version but just to be sure and follow my steps just go to python 3.9.0 that's the version i'm using right now and go ahead and download that instead now i want to download a code editor also so my recommendation is sublime text free now click download and just choose your system so for me it's windows 64 bit and click download but i have already downloaded that so i'm not gonna do that but it's really easy just follow the steps click next install and so on now we want to go ahead and open the code editor let me close the no, I'm just gonna I'll leave it open in case. So just go ahead and open your editor and click file, new file. And then we wanna save that file, so we just do save as. And we will save it on desktop and on projects. Okay, and I will name it jobis.py. So why name it like that? So first of all, I put the name that I wanna use, use, then dot and then the file type so for python it is py and then click save and now to get started we want to go to our browser again go to pp or i don't know how to pronounce that and then search for projects we want to search for packages but projects whatever it's the same thing and then we want to search for pi pts 3 and then we want to do the first one right here now to install that module or package or project name as as you want we want to copy this command right here control c then open command line so just go to your search bar right here and type command line or cmd or command prompt and open that and now you want to copy paste that command right here so as you understand right now to install any module you do pip install and then the name of the module and save and click enter sorry okay now we want to download another version another package and that will be speech recognition by google recognition. so one two three four the fourth one right here so speech recognition 3.8.1 and what that will do is get our voice from the microphone and translate that to a text that we can use later and for pytsx3 what that does is it from text it gets text and then it returns a voice so text to speech and yeah so let's go ahead and download that also so just go ahead on the top here click copy to clipboard clipboard sorry open command line again you then control that to paste it and that's it uh, we will not use any modules any other modules for now so what we want to do is go ahead and go back to our code editor actually don't do that and uh, go ahead again cpp and search for pytsx3 go to the first one 
and now we want to copy this one right here so the usage so copy that and paste it to the file we created right now now to run this python you want to do control and b i will speak this text so as you see it says i'll speak this text so whatever we put here it will return it as a speech so if we do yes hello there and do control b to run it again hello there hello there so that's it now we want to do something more dynamic so i'll make a function so i'll copy that then do death and then the name of the function i'll do speak then we will pass a parameter so i'll do text and below that uh first of all control v that and use tab to push it inside and then we will remove the string right here and push text now if we do below that speak and pass a string right here so that will be hello and run it with control b hello we get hello so i copy paste some code right here so what i did is import speech recognition as cr so what that means is we import this module the speech recognition and we are using this module as cr so instead of writing speech recognition here to use this module we are writing cr and you can uh, write whatever you want right here to change the name of the module so i made a function right here so what it does is it's getting the audio and uh, by the way i'll have uh, the code in the description so you don't have to write the code yourself so uh it just use um the recognizer from uh, the speech recognition module it's also using the microphone so it's getting uh, the input from the microphone and then use the recognizer to recognize our voice and then it's also uh, listening with the recognizer from the source of the microphone so now we're setting set it to an empty string and then we try to recognize this audio with uh, google recognize and then uh what that does is returns a string so we update said with that string and we also print that so we know what we said and if that goes wrong we print an exception plus the string plus the ex exception sorry and then otherwise if everything goes all right we return said in lowercase letters so let's let's make a uh, let's make a y actually so we will do while true so that'll be forever so while true we will try to actually we will do print okay no i don't want to do that so print uh, and then we will say listening and we will also say text equals to get audio and now what it does is it will constantly get our audio from the microphone so i will do control b and then now if i say hello to my microphone uh you should see an input right here so not now if i say hello to my microphone so it, it's not like a 100 it doesn't get 100 we just say uh but it's quite good actually and now let, let's let's play around with that so we will say if text equals to let's say equals equals to hello then we can use speak right here and we will return back hello hello you so now if i press ctrl b again and say hello now as you see 
uh, because the string right now it uh, it's and say hello, so that's not only hello. Plus, um, I need to write that in lowercase, and then I'll I need to say if text includes hello. So how we do that? I'm not quite sure. So let me Google that right now. So uh, Python text if string contains string but not includes not substring it's a string okay so okay yeah that's it so in so we use in so we will go back to our editor and say if text in hello no that's that's reverse that so if hello in text we want to say hello how are you so let me do control b again to run that and say hello hello how are you as you see we got our return so our bot or voice assistant it says hello how are you now you can do whatever you want right here you can say hello how are you okay if a user says fine uh we can return speak and then say um we can say that's great here great great or something like that now control b again and say hello Hello, how are you? I'm fine. That's great. So I say uh, we don't really necessarily need to say I'm fine. Uh, I need the string here. We can That's just... great. Okay, we can just uh, type fine. So if fine is in text, then speak that. But uh, the user might say Fine, you or something like that. Use if else, else if, say. and then we will do else if. And uh, what we can accomplish that with that is check first something else. So find and you or find and you in text. And then say, I'm doing great. But if we don't include in our text fine and you, then we will check for just fine. So control B, and we got an error for some reason. Involuntary turn syntax. If else, that if else. Yeah, that might be it. Okay. Control B. Oh, that's line eight. Oh, it's a leaf. Okay, right. Okay, a leaf. Sorry about that. A leaf. So control B. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am fine, and you? I am doing great. But uh, if we say fine. That's great. It just says, that's great. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more future videos. Also, let me know what you would like to see next, or if you'd like to make some more advanced updates on this bot. And see ya. Thank you.